Now we've got a great politician on the show to talk about herself. We've had her on here on Polywaffle. Louise, thanks for coming in today. Louise Pratt, of course, the WA Senator for the Labor Party. Welcome. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be now, here. Now, you heard Peter Ford. Yes. What's your favourite relaxing TV show to uh, see? I'm in not? love with Annabelle Craven yep. Kitchen Cabinet and uh, I love cooking shows. So for me to be able to combine politics do and cooking, cooking do yeah, cook? I do like to cook a lot. It's one yeah, of my I, pastimes. I've always wondered, politicians, how much time do you actually get to be able to say, I'll be home at this time? Do you work nine to five? Do you work... I know you can f be flexible, but... Do you get time to cook? Do you get time to be family, be with your partner? Yeah, I make time to cook because okay. it's important to me to relax. But, yeah, your time at home is, uh, is certainly restricted. But uh, my partner, Aram, and I, um, we're good at investing time in each other. Now, talking about Aram, Aram is your partner. Now, he's a transgender. That's right. I don't like the word transgender for some reason. It seems weird, but or he's trans, a person. Trans he's man, a... trans. But what does that mean to those people who don't know? Well, that would be um, anyone who's changed sex, so was born one gender mm -hmm. and has transitioned to become another. So he's now a male? That's right. And when we met he was a woman. He was a woman. Did that that, that sort of did you ever think you were gonna have a partner that was transgender? <laughs> no, but when you fall in love and you fall hard, what can you so do? So did you fall in love with him when he was a woman? <laughs> yes. And yeah. is he better now as a man? Yeah, oh, definitely. Him better? Definitely. Because I've seen him with the goatee and the beard and everything. He loves his goatee and his beard and he's a very happy, well-adjusted human being. But I can say men and women are actually different because I've been with the same mm. person as both. But you know what I like? I like calling everything normal. Mm. To you, is that normal? Is it normal life? Do you do the normal oh, stuff of course, everybody does? Of course, yeah. We're an, um, a day-to-day -day couple and when people see us out, um, that's how people see us. It must be hard being a politician as well and, and a Labor politician with the, the Gay Marriage Act at the moment being in yeah. the papers and news. What's the progress with that? Because everybody wants equality and, and I know you want it yeah. as well. You're, you're, you've been a, um, a fighter for that for mm. so long, a passionate person. What's happening? Well, there's a bill before Parliament. I'm really hopeful that we'll get enough members of Parliament in the Senate and in the House of Representatives to vote for it. Um, we changed the Labor Party's policy last year at our national mm -hmm. conference, which was a great step forward. And now the Labor Party's got a conscience vote uh, for it. What's been the sticking point? What is behind the scenes? Why are people not going? Are they scared that they're going to get backlash from the public? What's the reason that we just don't go, OK, that's easy, let's just do it? Oh, I agree. Why shouldn't we just mm. do it? I think there are a small number of MPs who are kind of worried about quite conservative constituencies and uh, how their voting uh, relationship with those people. But the simple fact is that the majority of Australians actually support marriage equality. And that's because most Australians these days know lesbian and gay people, they know lesbian and gay people who want to get married. Some good friends of mine just got married overseas. Mm. They had both sides of the family there. I think it's really sad I that they couldn't say, do it here. I went to a wedding in Bali. I met these two women in Bali. Yeah. And one of them was a, a figure from Underbelly, believe it or not, a real one. Wow. And we met them in Bali and the, her partner was a, a legal person like high up in Melbourne and they got married. They invited us to the wedding and I tell you what, it was a normal wedding. We yeah. had food, we drank, we had a party, they kissed. And they love each other. Yeah, and they get on so, with life. So That's why right. aren't we mature enough in this country yet to say it's about two people loving each other, not about religion? Is, is it religion that's the sticking point? Yeah, thing? it is in part religion, but there are a lot of religious organisations that actually support marriage equality. Mm. And it's important to remember that no religious institution will be forced to marry a lesbian and gay couple well, if they mean. don't want if to. If you're Catholic and the Catholic Church doesn't want to marry you, yeah. then that's your choice. Yeah. I could become Anglican or something else. Yeah. So it's, it depends how important it is to you. But I think it should be a choice by the people. The, yes. pe the two people that love each other. It should be marriage should be ab about two loving people. Mm, that's right. Unfortunately, I think our politicians are still playing catch up with mm. where the community is at on this issue. And what are you doing to push them into seeing the light? Well, I work very closely with lesbian and gay activists mm -hmm. and rights activists to uh, help them lobby politicians and talk tactics about that. I think by being open about my own background actually helps push that along as well, to have people in the parliament like Penny Wong and myself who've been affected by discrimination. Mm. Um, I th that also, I think, Do we have any helps. gay people that are open on the Liberal side? 
No, no, not... sadly. They may well be there, but they're not open, unfortunately. It's, 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 it would be good if you could get someone from the other side actually coming out and saying, yeah, look, I support there this. There are certainly supporters of marriage equality on the other side. Uh, we're trying to give them time to become more public about it so that hopefully we can get a positive vote before the next election. Was Bob Brown supportive? Yes. Well, and now he's left the parliament. That's right. But, um, there, yeah. He, he he's, was another well, we gay saw, first MP. First time I saw him on the TV on his resignation with his partner there, I thought it's a shame we haven't seen him many more times, but it was nice to see and it was very accepting. Yeah, they've been Normal. quite, they've been quite a, a generally a, an out, but quite a private couple. What else are you passionate about? Because I know, I, I wanted to ask, actually I want to ask you why you chose to go into politics. Yeah. I know you want to make a difference, but was there other reasons? Well, I joined the Labor Party because I believe in addressing inequality. I do think inequality is bad for society. So when people where do you are see disadvantaged, inequality? well, you see it in economics. So people who have very low incomes and are unemployed for a long time, and you get those generations of people where they've got, had unemployed parents and that results in unemployed children and you've really got to work out what to do about that. None of us can help being born the way we are into the families that we're being born into, so we've got to help people uh, make the most of their life. Mm. And you're also passionate about business. You've yeah. got a business back. And tell me about that. Yeah, well, look, it's part of it, I think, comes from being Western Australian mm. because we're a really strong economy and uh, there's a, uh, the mining boom is doing great things for much of the state. But there's also a lot of inequality there, mm. um, particularly for businesses that aren't in the fast lane. So, to my mind, it's things like the minerals resource rent tax gives us a chance to deliver on our labour values by um, allowing uh, small businesses to get some of the value from that. What are the things that really piss you off about being a politician? What, what are the things that really annoy you? The things uh, that you don't like? Uh, look, I'm not particularly good at the question time, cut mm. and thrust and the kind of... It's a little bit like being back in the classroom at school and I don't, I don't particularly like that part of uh, being in politics because... Um, yeah, I, I'm not one of those kinds of kids. You're a from doer. The, yeah, yeah, I'm not one of those kids at the back of the classroom who's kind of throwing out lines to people across the chamber. So you wouldn't chamber. be the type of person that likes policy thrown at them and rules and conditions. You want to go out and do the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, and, I, mean, I, and I, I love working on policy issues, mm. but, yeah, the, the kind of um, pithy one-liners where people are having a go at each other across mm. the chamber, I hate that stuff. And where do you see yourself, say, in about five mm. years' time, where would you like to see yourself when it comes to politics? Would you like to be more influential as a leader yeah. or a minister? Yeah, look, I'd loved the opportunity to serve in Cabinet, but uh, I'm really focused on things like getting the marriage equality mm. stuff done, on delivering for Western Australia, on a bunch of policy issues that I'm working really hard on, uh, one of which is things like maternity services and giving women more choice for um, childbirth options. So I think I will want to look at my career in terms of what I've, I've achieved. Um, hopefully one day I'll get a chance to serve on do, this Do you look, look up to other people? Like, oh, yeah, absolutely. You, inspiration from other yeah, people? Yeah, yeah. What sort of people? Who, who? Well, I was a big admirer of Carmen Lawrence and I was really privileged to work for her for mm. some time. But then we've got amazing women in our own cabinet, so people like Tanya Plibersek. You have to say, of course, the Prime Minister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, can't forget her. Well, it's, it's fantastic for a woman of my generation to be able to mm. serve with uh, a, the, the first, first Prime female Minister. Prime Minister. She's a very talented Look, and I, very strong I'll woman. I'll be honest with you. I said to you off air, I said I've always supported Liberal but I'm also, I like people. Yeah. So if you're a Labor person that does great things, I think you deserve to be promoted. And I think the Prime Minister, though, she's had a really bad run. She has mm. had a bad run. I actually think she's a good person. I think she's oh. a good Prime Minister, just in the wrong party at the moment. So I think that's her unfortunate situation. We're being in a minority government, she's had a lot of bad things to, to have to try and implement. And you know what? We have to give it to her. She's got through some policy things that nobody thought she'd ever get through. Well, in being in minority government, all the, le the many hundreds of pieces of legislation that we've pa passed, uh, dealing with the balance of power, dealing with the independence. Actually, the nation's achieved some wonderful things under her leadership. I think so too. And now, under your leadership, what's happening in Parliament for you? What's, what's the next few weeks got in store? Well, in fact, uh, over the next few weeks, we've got the budget coming up. Mm -hmm. But before that, uh, the Legal and Constitutional Affairs Committee that I'm on is doing an inquiry into the marriage bills that are currently before the Parliament. Beautiful. Mm. So you're going to come back and update us on what's happening? Very happy to and do that. And what are you going to be doing over the weekend? Uh, I'm going to uh, cook dinner for my friends and uh, the dog's going to take me what's for a walk. What's your favourite food? 
Oh, I like uh, Moroccan, uh, Japanese. I, I like to cook a lot of different Good, things. Good, I'll see you about seven then. <laughs> sure thing. Louise Pratt, please uh, welcome her to the Couch family, but also thank her for being on the Couch today. It's been a very honest and open interview. I'd love to have you back again. We've yeah. got to talk to this camera because the other one's decided to die on us, Louise. Oh. And... Uh, that you'll, we're looking both green, but that's okay. We'll battle through, just like the Labor Party in minority today when it comes to technical, but we're still doing it. Thank you very much for being on the couch Thank today. Thank you, Fred. And I look forward to seeing you next time on the couch. Indeed. See you next time.